everyone. It's Kev here and I'm out here today to finish my review on our new Suzuki 115 four stroke that we've put on our boat. The previous motor was a 2001 90 Merc two stroke. Uh, great motor, great old motor, but uh, the time had come when we just needed to do an upgrade, that motor was 20 years old and we wanted something that was going to last us for another 10 or 15 years uh, without any trouble. So it was off to West Coast Marine where I was able to negotiate a good deal and we purchased our new Suzuki DF-115B four stroke. This is the latest 115 that Suzuki has out at the moment, the B model and so we've purchased that and just before I go any further I just want to say that West Coast Marine and Suzuki are not paying me or sponsoring me to do this video I'm just out here because I'm really impressed with our new motor and just wanted to do a bit of a review on it so you can see here in some of these clips the old motor being removed and the new one being fitted So the new Suzuki performs pretty much how I expected it to and it's got some pretty good things that you notice, uh, you'll notice you notice straight out of the gate and the first one is, is it's so easy to start and I just love the way it starts so you can see in this clip here that you just need to flick the key and boom away it goes Did you like that, did you? I just love the way it starts. In fact, it's so good. Here it is again. So the next thing that most people would know and notice straight away is the quietness of the engine. There's no comparison between some of the older two strokes and these new four strokes. It's just so quiet and especially when you start the thing up at home after you've been out in the salt water and you want to give your motor a flush out one of the things that's really good is I don't have to smoke the neighbourhood out with two stroke smoke and let them put up with that horrible two stroke noise as you'll see in this clip here there's no comparison And when the boat's running, of course, it's just so quiet, it's just really good. And you'll notice in the next part of the video, some of the clips here of the motor running and how quiet it is. It's probably a little bit hard to tell on a video, but believe me, it's, it's quiet and it's really smooth. on a couch. <laughs> so we're getting along at 4,000 revs now, just, just a bit over 4,000 revs and if there was someone else in the cockpit here with me you can have a conversation with them, you're not yelling at each other and that's really good. So the, the sound and the noise from this engine is really nice, just got, a, just got a beautiful sweet sound to it so that's one of the things that I really love. So the 
Next thing that I really love about this new motor is the fuel efficiency. We all know that the price of fuel's gone through the roof and it's not going to get any cheaper anytime soon. But in comparison to the two-stroke 90, there just there isn't a comparison. Uh, the fuel efficiency and how much it costs to run the boat for the day, there's, there's no comparison between them. So that's a real plus. We have a 90 litre underfloor tank in this boat. And because it's so efficient, we, we won't need to have the tank full all the time. We can have possibly, you know, 40, 50 litres in there and do a day skiing and still have plenty of fuel left over. And lastly, the thing that I want to talk about last is the operation of the boat and the way it drives. The 115 motor has completely changed the dynamics of the boat. It definitely changed the, the way the boat rides on the water, the amount of weight there is behind you, and just so smooth and so easy to operate. Learning to trim it down when we come into some corners without, without it cavitating. And then as you come out of the corner, just to lift the trim a little bit again. Very easy to handle, the steering's nice and light. Got, the, got everything set up just, just nicely. So, uh, a lot of fun. And again, as you can hear, not a lot of a lot of noise, well there's noise but you can probably hear me talking over that noise. Nice and quiet, nice and smooth, great to operate. Really nice motor, very very pleased with it. You should get one. So before we look at some clips of how the motor performs and I've done some filming as best I can to show the motor off. Uh, here's Lindsay from West Coast Marine just to give us a bit of a rundown on some of the technical info about the motor. Hey guys, um, here we are at uh, West Coast Marine here. We've just uh, repowered Kevin's boat with a new DF115 uh, BTL outboard. Um, this, this package is, is good for this boat here. Kevin does quite a bit of water skiing and, and trout fishing and that sort of stuff. So the advantage is probably over the Suzuki, over a lot of competitors brands is We've got basically an offset power head here, so we, we move the weight further over the transom of the boat, which basically allows us to do a gear reduction up the top. It allows us to run a nice thin gear case in the water and a, and a good size pop. So this is running a 14 by 21 pitch propeller, which is going to be good for him for water skiing, getting the boat out of the hole and, and good all round performance. Uh, another advantage, we've got the lean burn, A series lean burn engine. So that's basically about 10% uh, more fuel efficient than the previous predecessor model um, and that's basically done by monitoring engine load adjusting the fuel mix to the suit um, and basically that you know comes into its own between sort of three and a half and four and a half thousand three and a half and four and a half thousand rpm is really where it's um where its little sweet spot is yeah so this should give them heaps of power to the whole for water skiing and, and fishing and, and a good all-round good all-round boat package really
115 four-stroke Suzuki four-stroke. It's a fabulous motor. It's easy to start, it's quiet, it's fuel efficient, fantastic to operate. They're a good motor. I'm very happy with it. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And I'll see you when I make another video of some adventures that we're going to do in our boat this summer. Thanks for watching.